Kia ora Otago, I'm your Campaigns Officer Roger. Uh, and I'm your Education Officer James. And welcome to the OUSA Exec Roundup where we bring you what OUSA has been up to in the last week as well as what happened in the last meeting. Yep, so we're still finding our feet with this, uh, so we're probably going to make a few mistakes and we're probably going to start reading from the agenda uh, to our left. But um, give us some feedback, tell us what we're doing right, tell us what we're doing wrong and everything in between. Hopefully we can get this done in three minutes or less, starting now. Um, so you might have realised that we had a little thing called O Week last week. Uh, thank you very much to the amazing events team who put it all together and to all the students who came along and made a fantastic week. The Radio 1 app is live, so that means you don't have to bring your card in to, anymore. Just go into the shop and show them the app discount. So you can download that on either the Apple App Store or the Google Play Store. So all you have to do is look up Radio Rad 1 app. Yep, uh, so on the 3rd of March, uh, there is a concert for the Tongan Cyclone Relief Fund. It's from 7.30 till 9 in the Union Hall and it's a gold coin entry. Young Thug unfortunately won't be going to Outer Sydney Limits this weekend. Instead, Alice in Wonderland will be taking his place. Uh, and to all the budding photographers out there, the uh, OUSA infamous photography competition is starting right now. Uh, entries close on the 31st of March and you can win up to $100. Check out more details on our website. That's all for the reminders, now onto this week's meeting. I've been sitting on the computer-based examinations working group as a student voice as part of the initial trial. Some papers in first semester will, will feature such computer-based exams. Yep, and if you've got any questions, concerns, any feedback, uh, don't hesitate to hit us up. Education at ousa.org.nz is my email, or campaigns at ousa.org.nz is my email. This week your exec affiliated the Otago University Tea Enjoyment and Appreciation Society, so for all the tea lovers out there, check them out on their Facebook group and get amongst it. Yep, also in light of Cyclone Jeter, uh, the OUSA exec donated $100 towards the cause. If you'd like to personally contribute, there will be a UNICEF donation link in the description uh, of this video. Um, your, so your executive quarterly reporting dates have been set. These are pretty much the time in which um, our quarterly reports are due. These are reports that we do four times a year, quarterly, and it sums up everything we've been doing for OUSA for students. These dates are March 22nd, June the 21st, September the 20th, and November the 22nd. Your exec received the January student job search statistics. And we also received the minutes of the OUSA Finance and Expenditure Committee. Your exec accepted my committee reports for the Give Nothing to Racism Committee, the Computer Based Examinations Working Group and the Chaplaincy Board. And we also accepted the Welfare Officer Abigail's reports from the Healthy University Advisory Group Welfare Committee and the Division of Science Academic Board. Finally, your exec received the OUSA CEO Debbie Downs' January report. Brilliant. Uh, so if you've got any questions about anything we've briefly talked about, don't forget to hit us up. Um, if you've got any feedback or concerns about this video, as we're saying we're still finding our feet, so we appreciate anything you guys want to tell us about it. Yeah, so stop us on the streets or yep. check us out at the OUSA main office, so opposite UBS. Yep, 640 Cumberland Street. Uh, or you can plug us an email at campaigns at OUSA.org.nz, that's Raj, or education at OUSA.org.nz, that's Jim. Me. Yep. Or you can email our president directly at president at OUSA.org.nz. So, yeah. well, thank you very much for watching. I uh, hope it wasn't too bad. Fingers crossed. Yeah. And until next time, see, see ya. you later. All right.